Picture this. The party has trailed in Furnace, the dreaded red dragon, to his lair in the blasted mountains. At the zenith of their adventure, they face the crimson menace himself. Infernus blasts the party with his fire and breath. The fighter tanks the blast thanks to the sheer volume of his hit points. The thief ducks out of the way with her life-saving uncanny dodge. The wizard casts an absorption spell to greatly reduce the damage. And the cleric... Ooh! Oh! Ooh, hey! That's... That's not good. The party takes the cleric's remains back to town, and approaches the local temple, expecting to have to pay a substantial fee for his resurrection. But the acolytes aren't that interested in money. Instead, the other party members must enter a partial astral suspension so they can locate the cleric's soul before it is blown away in the winds of the Aether. But what kind of DM would make the players jump through hoops like this? This kind. Philip K. Dick, who, for the sake of taste, I will refer to as Philip, was an influential author of science fiction novels and short stories. He explored topics across a broad range, including telepathy, precognition, artificial intelligence, shared hallucinogenic experiences, and, as the intro suggests, the afterlife. Blade Runner, the film adaptation of his novel Electric Sheep, influenced the style of cyberpunk for decades after. Sadly, Philip passed away about four months before the film's release. But that didn't stop filmmakers from mining his corpse for ideas ever since. For this video, though, we'll just focus on the ideas that you might take from the book Ubik. Trying to cover the full range of strangeness in Philip's life and work is way beyond the scope of just one online video. In Ubik, the deceased can be preserved in cryostasis, and their memories and personality can be accessed through a process called Half-Life, a network that those in stasis share collectively. Imagine such a system in a campaign a component of a more difficult resurrection process. Once I've gotten through a few games with players in a new setting, I like to ask them what their characters think of the afterlife. Do they rejoin nature? Does their soul move to another plane? Do they not believe in a soul? And if so, can they be resurrected through a Frankenstein-like biological experiment? It's something that can construct a few sessions of adventures, and gives the player with the dead character a chance to play a spirit guide or some sort of extraplanar aid. It certainly beats forking over a pile of in-game material resources, a knack that takes the life of a player and reduces it to a stack of coins. Give it a try and see if it works for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.